Greenbrier Campground in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So we actually stayed at this campground last June and I shot a whole vlog about it and as luck would have it, I accidentally deleted all the footage, but I did post the blog, or excuse me, I did post a vlog last year with some video of our visit to Gatlinburg, uh, as well as some still shots of the campground. But this time, I'm actually going to have video for you guys, so take a look around. And actually, the video might be a little bit better since we have a gimbal today. We're walking down a path right next to, I believe, the Little Pigeon River. This is right along Route 321 up ahead. You can see a, a bridge where the, the road goes over. This is actually like a floodplain through here. There's lots of river washed boulders. You can hear the water running not far from here. There we go, there's the water. So, Greenbrier Campground is actually an island. So, it is surrounded on all sides by water, and I think it's the Little Pigeon River on all sides. It's actually a nice little tent site back here. There's a couple of them right along the water. So, I believe that's Route 321 right up there. Each one of these sites look like they have water only, no electric. You can see that there's some people over here inner tubing. So if you put in up here, you can travel all the way down the river to the beach area, which I will show you guys in a little bit. So the very last site is site 121. This is like a little island here too, because there's water over here and over here, and that's where the main campsite is over there. Actually, I stand corrected, these sites also have electric. Looks like just a 15 amp. Also looks like there's a fish cleaning station, perhaps? It's also a bear-proof trash container here, although it is open. Might be damaged. So we are staying at Site 57. It's a water electric a sewer back in sight. And right next to our site, there is actually a Wi-Fi access point. And we have counted a number of these all along the entire campground area. I'll show you some more. So this campground, even though it's remote, has very good Wi-Fi access for the entire park. There's enough access points in the entire, uh, excuse me, campground to allow as many sites as they have to connect without any kind of bandwidth issues. This is something that a lot of other parks can take some notes from. Okay, so this is actually the front of the campground. Over here to the left is the camp store and registration. Here's uh, where the dumpsters are. One of the bathhouses is right over here. And these uh, actually are very nice bathhouses. They actually have beautiful tile and marble inside of them. They are rather small, but very, very nice. By the way, this is our site, Site 80. We actually moved our camper this morning because the site that we were in for the past five days, or four and a half days, is uh, now occupied. Somebody had it. We're only here for another single night. After that, we're heading to another campground. Here's the camp laundry area. People are doing their laundry right now. There's also a game room. And it is closed at the moment. There's a pinball machine in there and a little coin op. And here's uh, one of the bathrooms. 
There's also another bathroom around the other side. There's our rig right there. This is a, a Good Sam Park. So if you have a Good Sam membership, you get, I think, 10% off. I think we paid about $57 a night here, prime season. So that wasn't uh, too bad. And of course, here is the entrance to the campground. And as I've said before, this campground is on an island. It is surrounded by the Little Pigeon River, which is down there. Oh, looks like somebody lost their shoe. Looks like you can rent golf carts here now. We have firewood and ice here. A whole bunch of brochures on things to do in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And of course, because of COVID, the camp store here is closed. Uh, so they're doing the registration and they have a couple of things out in the front. So didn't go in. But anyway, I'm going to take you guys down to the beach real quick, show you what the beach looks like. It's, uh, of course, on the Little Pigeon River. All right, so we are heading down towards the beach area. Thought I'd show you guys this real quick. There's a little, actually, there's two pavilions. This one over here has a uh, pool table, some tables. There's also a sink over on this one, a lot more tables and chairs. There's plenty of grills around here. The center section of the island is where the tent sites are. And they are quite packed right now with lots of people with tents. Here's some more tent sites down this way. Actually, I don't think that these are being used. Although maybe it's just for a dog area walking your dog not sure anyway we are approaching the beach area this road down here leads right to it and there's a swimming hole there as well oh it says no camping in this area due to water runoff so they must have flooding in here see that they've put down some stones it's quite swampy right there So we are heading down to the beach area. It's nice and shady back here. There's a bunch of people over here sitting in chairs, swimming. Ah, not swimming in the chairs, but just sitting. <laughs> there are people swimming. So here's a shot of the dumpsters. Here is another bathhouse right here. Of course, we have a uh, playground for the children. Swing sets. I think there's even a ball pit maybe over here. Or a sand pit. It's sand. <laughs> oh, and it's quite Actually, we'll call this a swimming hole right now. <laughs> That's crazy. There's also another area over here, I guess, for your dogs. Yep. So over by the pavilion, they have a common fire pit area as well. There's a gas grill. And of course, like I said before, lots of tables and chairs. There's even a basketball court right here. There really are quite a few activities to do here at Greenbrier. Um, so if you're coming here, make sure you bring an inner tube, uh, but they do sell them at the camp store from what I understand. But if you have your own, bring it. You have a lot of fun in the river. Lots of kids and even adults are having a lot of fun out there. So uh, yeah, bring a volleyball, badminton, football, lots of things to do here at this campground. 
The only thing they don't have here is a swimming pool, but if you want to cool off during the hot summer days, you can certainly go into the creek or the river. Plenty of swimming space out there, and that water is perfect temperature to cool off. All right, so I guess I'll take you guys around this other way. This is the lane or loop, whatever you want to call it, that we were in for most of our stay here. These all back up to a dry creek bed. This is the other half of the loop. So here's another one of the APs that I was talking about, the wireless access points I was talking about earlier. Just wanted to show you guys. So there's an access point pole right there. I'm going to swing around this way. And there's another one right there. That would be a negatory. <laughs> I have my lovely wife with me today. She's my rigger. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys how nicely they space these out. And actually, you can see there's the one that I just described right there. Whoop. Go over this way. And there is another right there. Has plenty of mesh here. All right, so now we're approaching the back side of the campground near the beach. Yeah, you can actually hear the water rushing over here. No one is in the site at this time, so let's take a quick walk over there. There you go. How about that for a view out of the back of your camper? So some of the video that I shot yesterday was from over there. People were inner tubing down here. You can take three routes. This way, this way, or if you're adventurous, through the Whitewater Rapids over there. So that's pretty awesome. Well, that's going to do it for our walkthrough at Greenbrier Campground near Gatlinburg, Tennessee. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button. It really helps out our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate it. You guys have a great day. for sticking with us to the end of the video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and check out our other videos.